Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Nisi, coming back with another pulls. I have a tutorial here today on the channel. So today I wanted to do a really dope vocal preset for a really dope artist named uh, Lancy Fo. He's from the UK. So I'm going to break down how to get that Lancy Fo uh, vocal sound. You know, I, I really like his music a lot. It's really different. You feel me? Um, so if you guys do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also down below, drop more suggestions to artists that y'all want to see. And if you do want to get the the preset and everything check it out in the description down below all right so let's get to it right now let's go walk inside the bank they give me the check mm -hmm. think i'll call a crib with a money step mm -hmm. keep an old stick on me vet mm -hmm. keep my new chicks you know me wet mm -hmm. tag it on my neck on um, me mm -hmm. had to make it easy so you get it mm -hmm. i'ma make it hard for the next all right, and then after that, I'm going to show you what it sound like with and without the preset. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Mm -hmm. Keep an old stick on me, Vic. Whoa. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Mm -hmm. Tatted on my neck, arm leg. Mm -hmm. Had to make it easy so you get it. I'm going to make it hard for the next. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Mm -hmm. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me vet. <laughs> yeah, so Lancy Fo, he's a really dope artist, bro. Because if you think about the UK, right, and the UK rappers, which, you know, everybody know, I do a lot of UK rappers. I did Tion Wayne, Central C, I did Stormzy, I did Skepta. You feel me? I'm, I'm constantly nailing the, the, the UK accent very well. I did Dave, you feel me? I love UK uh, music, you feel me? So um, that's the thing about it, too, bro. It's like a situation where Lancy Fo is actually very different from a lot of the other UK artists. Um, even another dope artist from the UK, M24. I don't already did all the vocal presets. You could check it on my channel uh, too. But yeah, those are some really dope artists. But Lancy Fo is very different, bro, because he's more like melodic, auto tune -y. He reminds me uh, mostly of like a mix between uh, a little bit of Playboy Cardi and Young Thug. I feel like those are some of his really big influences. So yeah, he's got a very different sound. So his sound reminds me of like when I go to the local chicken place and I say, yo, they say, how you want your chicken to be fried? You want it to be soft fried or you want it to be soft fried hard? You feel me? It's like a certain preference his vocals are a little bit crunchy type shit so you know this is how to get those nice country uh type of rage vocals too a little bit so yeah we're using the auto tune a little bit of that flex tune a little bit of humanized and the retune speed walk inside the bank they give me the check mm -hmm. think i caught a crap with the money step mm -hmm. keep an old stick on me vet Whoa. keep my new chicks who know me wet mm -hmm. tatted on my neck arm um, leg mm -hmm. had to make it easy so you get it I'm gonna make it hard for the next. So this this is kind of like using the auto tune in a situation where it's like when you go to the movie theater and you ask them, yo, can I get uh you know some popcorn? And you know that popcorn is probably sitting in a huge bin with a bunch of you know things popping and popping and popping away. So I'm trying to get the vocal to pop. That's why I'm using these settings on the auto tune, uh, relatively quick retune speed uh, with the humanizer and the flex tune. Mostly the flex tune it helps you get that popping auto tune sound. All right. So after that, let's look at um you know. Uh, the first thing that we have so you know knowing that the, the aesthetic of Lancy Foe even if you watch the video it got a sexy red in it you know it's just very dark and very grungy kind of like a little bit like Playboy Cardi almost but a little bit more like a fusion of uh, Young Thug and Playboy Cardi so I use the SSL G channel and most importantly because they got that VCA circuit and his voice is not really deep it's more like quacking quack nickel on quack boom 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 then we kind of got some jagged edges to it so I wanted to add presence specifically with this compressor type and the SSLG in general is just a little bit more dirtier. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Mm -hmm. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Mm -hmm. Keep an old stick on me, vet. Whoa! Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Mm -hmm. Tatted on my neck, arm um, leg. Mm -hmm. Had to make it easy so you get it. Yeah, so mostly just cleaning up the vocal and also adding presence, understanding that VCA compressor. So that's why specifically I went with VCA stock compressors because I know when I go to the chicken place and I say, yo, fry my chicken a little bit more crispier, it's going to come out with a certain edge, a certain hurt. When I bite into that piece of chicken, that fried chicken is going to have a little bit of, you know, just a, a nice type of uh, texture to it. You feel me? So um, after that, we're using the uh, Wave Sibilants. I like using the Wave Sibilants because I don't know what, I feel like it makes, it, it lets me DS a little bit harder, especially with the range mode. You get to pick how far number-wise the DS goes down and the look-ahead feature kind of makes this like a, a kind of like a ninja, you feel me, with a blade, like um, 
the Afro Jack just slicing up everything, slicing up all the harshness in the vocal really quickly, like a superstar chef, chopping, chopping them onions, boom, flipping it up in the air. That's how I feel about this de because it's just very responsive, you feel me? Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me, Vic. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Okay, after that, we have the C6. I'm using that kind of like Jason Joshua style uh, preset. It's called the high clean. You feel me? The high clean. So it lets me do a free floating notch in the mid range and the top end. So I, I feel like I didn't need to use the C4 pop vocal because that all kind of like hypes up the vocal. And his vocal was already hyped up naturally, you feel me? So if the guy is already having a sugar rush, I ain't about to give him more Skittles and Starburst because the vocalist is already giving the energy. So I don't need to use a C4 to kind of make it, you know, start doing the jumping jacks. So yeah, just a little resonant notch in the mid range and the high end. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Mm -hmm. Think I caught a clip with the money stick. Mm -hmm. Keep the money stick. Bo! Keep my new chicks. Walk inside the bank, they give me the check. Mm -hmm. Think I caught a clip with the money stick. Mm -hmm. Keep an old stick on me vet. Mm -hmm. Keep my new chicks to know me with. All right, after that, at that point, I went with something like the. Uh, I went with something like the uh, API 2500. And I really like the API 2500 because it, it has a lot of really dope features. I'm going specifically because of the tone mode. Like I get to pick the knee, right? And that hard knee compressor, the same thing applies to SSLG. Like the higher you go up on the ratio, the harder the knee is. So you get to see like a picture of the knee. You feel like this is a soft knee, but it's kind of like a softer transition. Like you imagine it kind of like a parent and a child. Like the soft knee is kind of like that one parent that just gives the kid the toy or whatever, whatever like that, you know, that soft love. And then the uh, the hard knee is kind of like a hard parent that, you know, snatches the the the, 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 hand, the toy out of the jet hand and say, Jet, you, you bad as hell. You need to go back into the room. You feel me? No more playtime. You feel me? It's a harder knee. Creates a different type of tone, just like how a parent versus a soft parent versus a hard parent, they have a different tone of the way they talk and engage. You feel me? So that's kind of how I see, like, the soft knee is the behavior. You feel me? How are you behaving with the signal, which is like the jet? You feel me? So after that, we have the thrust mode, too. The thrust is like how you want to push it into the glass. That shit kind of made me think about hockey. You know, hockey, when they, like, checking people up against the glass, like, how are you hitting them? You know, sometimes they softly hit, and hit them, and sometimes they, boom, they whack them in hockey. You feel me? So that's kind of like the uh, the loud versus the medium. That's kind of like the, it's like an internal side chain. You feel me? The compressor starts looking at the vocal a little bit different. You know, it's like how you angling the vocal into the compressor. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me, Vic. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Tatted on my neck, arm leg. Had to make it easy so you get it. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me, Vic. So it's really hardly being used, to be honest. It's more of anything. I'm using it more like a saturator, to be honest. Like it's crazy, <laughs> it's crazy that it is. I got it on the analog on, and you see like the needle's hardly moving. It, it does move like a little bit somewhere, but for the most part, because the ratio is on 10 and the knee is hard, like you know, it kind of puts it in a situation where it, it's it's gonna it has to be a, a decent amount of signal to really get it to go in there. So um yeah, I don't want the actual squeezing of the compression, I just want the sound of like the 2520 op amp you know, and the transformers and all that stuff like that that make it sound really modern and present. So just pay attention. Like, just understanding what is under the hood of this car, I already know it's going to get me to where I want to be, which is my final destination. You feel me? It's helping it sound more modern and more present. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me, Vic. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Of course, we got it on manual makeup mode, too, for the haters. You feel me? So this is like an automatic uh, thing, but I put it on manual mode. So, like, we're not adding any volume at all. Okay, after that, we have the Shep 73. I use the Shep 73 because I know it got transformers and transistors. So the transistors, most important thing you see on purpose. I'm saturating like crazy. I'm, I'm throwing some lemon pepper on my wings right now, some, some blue cheese dressing. You feel me? I'm getting flavor out there, bit. So uh, most important thing is taking the input and pushing it into the, the Shep 73. I'm getting more distortion, more saturation, especially from the transistors, you feel me? But the transformer is giving some body, too, because his vocals are already skimpy a little bit. So just a little bit of that filter, kind of carving out a little bit of the lows and everything like that. And uh, mostly just using a delicate amount of, you know, the, the high mid uh, bell. And that's kind of like pushing the transient. 
I even did that here too, you know, pushing that green bell in the case, giving a little bit more presence, a little bit more bite, a little bit more crispiness to the French fries that we're working with. Like how I said in the beginning, as soon as I started working on the vocal, I'm like, yo, I want something that gives a little bite. Just like the original vocal, the original vocal got a bite to it. It's got a distortion and bite to it. So I'm like, yo, I walked into the chicken restaurant. I said, yo, fry my chicken crispy hard. They're like, okay, boom. Just like how it's a certain way to fry chicken harder than other types of chicken. It's a certain way to make vocals sound a little bit more bitey. You feel me? Through the moves, you know, pushing that high mid-range right here and then pushing it just very delicately over here. But do it delicately or it's going to get harsh. You feel me? Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me, vip. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Tatted on my neck, arm leg. Had to make it easy so you get it. Yeah, so that high mid is very important. After that, we used another REQ because, you know, this kind of, this has a transformer in it. So it just added some low end to the vocal and boom, I just kind of like scooped out a little bit of that low mid. So it's like I'm understanding where exactly that salt and pepper is on that chicken wound, that chicken wing, that chicken bone, right? And I'm kind of like removing it a little bit, you feel me? Because I know that transformer just added body in the mid-range because that's what transformers do. So I'm kind of like rebalancing the vocal back to, you know, to be balanced. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me, vip. Keep my new chicken. And then after that, I use the Arvox mostly to, uh, you know, just kind of harden that area that I just cut out, you know, because the Arvox has a way of pushing like the low end. So I just kind of wanted to harden back what I took away, you feel me? So it's like giving and taking, you feel me? It's like a situation where you at like a, a, a trading desk or something like that, or you in a marketplace or something like that, where you just trading things, you feel me? I trade you this banana, okay, for the, that hammer, you feel me? We just trading things back and forth. I'm taking out mid-range, but then I'm adding it back. But it has a certain type of mid-range, right, where that 73 brings a saturated mid-range, but this Arvox brings like a solid compressed mid-range, you feel me? Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me vet Keep my new chicks who know me wet Tatted it on my neck, arm leg Had to make it easy so you get it I'ma make it hard for the next all right, after that, you know, at that point, we just trying to get the vocals to be brighter. So I'm using the uh, NLS bus. I use the mic mode because it's the EMI console. And it's funny, too, because EMI is from England, bruh. So I already know if he's from England, EMI is from England. I mean, bro, like, come on, dog. Like, it's just very obvious that something like this is going to sound good on that type of accent because it's been done for what, how many years since they had Abbey Road and EMI consoles and all that music they was making. So it's a familiar tone. It's a familiar flavor. If I put three cups in front of you of different juices and I'm like, yo, what flavor is that? If, if you know the taste of grape already, it's a familiar flavor. You're going to be like, oh, this is grape. I know this sound and I know it tastes good. You feel me? So yeah, that's why I use the EMI. Walk inside the bank, man. Give me the check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me, vip. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. I like the EMI too because it's like a it's like a silent de-esser. Like you know, it, de it literally would de-harsh the vocals, bro. I ain't gonna lie, cause it's going through that that analog. It, it's kind of like rounding off the transients a little bit. So after that, we use a fresh air. At this point, we're just bringing in brightness and some sheen and some polish onto the shoes. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep a. And then we have a deesser doing one to three dB. We have a wave silk vocal, you know, you know, putting in that work. You feel me? Being that mechanic going under hood, any little nut or bolt or any little racky or whatever inside the engine that ain't working. That silk vocal is like that last mechanic doing that last inspection check on a car, just making sure everything is where it should be. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep an old stick on me, vip. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Tatted on my neck, arm um, leg. Had to make it easy so you get it. I'ma make it hard for the next. Walk inside the bank, they give me the check. All right, after that, we have an H delay with a chorus stomp. I only use the chorus stomp because it makes the delay wider. And I use the eighth note delay because his flow is kind of fast on this bit. You feel me? So I use the a faster delay. You know, to look at the tempo is 170. So I feel like the one the, the quarter note was just too slow. So I did an eighth note for the delay. After that, I used the Tory Lanez reverb. I did some uh, 70 step 73 distortion going into a, a, a R reverb. And the thing about R reverb is you could change like 
how it reacts. You know, the decay button right here, this is like a secret gem, bro. You could just click this. And you know, this was changed like the, the the way the reverb is reacting to the vocal and stuff like that. Okay, after that, uh, we have a doubler stomp. We know what that doubler stomp do. You know, it kind of just uh, gives a little bit of that pitch bending, that modulation. It helps the auto tune blend in a little bit better. And then I use the API 2500, uh, good for vocals. I mean, exactly, I like this preset. And it's kind of like on the API, you have the new mode and the old mode, which changes the way the signal is running through the gears and everything like that. So I use the old mode because it has a little bit of a warmer sound and at this point my vocal so edgy and so, you feel me, rage vocals type shit like that, that I just wanted to blend in a little bit of warm presence. Walk inside that bank, man, give me the check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep a old stick on me, vet. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Tatted on my neck, arm leg. Had to make it easy so you get it. I'ma make it hard for the next. Walk inside the bank, man, give me the check. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Keep a old stick on me, vet. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Tatted on my neck, arm leg. Had to make it easy so you get it. I really like these ad libs. These remind me of like Gunna, especially. This is perfectly accurate. It reminds me of Gunner, Young Thug, a little bit. And that's who Lancey Flow is kind of influenced by, Young Thug, you feel me? So uh, you got just kind of like a basic uh, EQ, but I'm just boosting up that transient because I, I really want that mm -hmm to cut through. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Mm -hmm. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Mm -hmm. Keep an old stick on me, Vic. Whoa! Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Mm -hmm. Ted. You feel me? So yeah, just boosting up a little bit of that transient. And then after that, we have uh, our Vox doing a lot of uh, compression and a really tight gate. SSL G channel strip, you know, just kind of going there with that hard knee compressor, taking a little bit of like snipping it with some scissors, taking the tip, nibbling the tip of the transient off of the ad libs. And then we had another Arvox as well. I must have been on some bullshit. You feel me? But I used another Arvox again for some weird reason. It just sounded good. And then I used the flanger. You feel me? And, uh, and then we had the H delay, which is another eighth, eighth note. You feel me? But at a very low level. It's ping pong compared to the other one on the lead vocal. It's not ping pong. And then we have a really dope uh, Arver, like a big reverb. Walk inside the bank, they give me a check. Mm -hmm. Think I caught a crap with the money step. Mm -hmm. Keep an old stick on me, vet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keep my new chicks who know me wet. Mm -hmm. Tatted on my neck, arm um, leg. Mm -hmm. Had to make it easy so you get it. Mm -hmm. I'ma make all right, so that's pretty much the end of the video that we got here for y'all today. I just want to say thank you very much for being a great part of my YouTube family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do like the preset, check it down below in the description to support the channel. Suggest more artists down below. Appreciate y'all now, YouTube gang. Peace.